hi guys welcome back to another video for today's video i will be doing a review on the morphe x james charles palette so i'm so excited to try this palette i recently just bought or i actually bought two but i'm giving one away in a giveaway along with two pairs of lashes and a set of beauty blenders so if you do want to enter that giveaway then please make sure to go follow my instagram like that picture tag two people and also subscribe to my youtube channel and you can also go ahead and click on the link on my bio so you can be entered so all that information will be listed down below and it will be also on my instagram i'm so excited you guys because i have been wanting this palette forever i was out of stock i believe two times i already opened it so it's not a really first impression um i haven't tried it on my eyelids at all so that's something new which i'm so excited to try out and i'm going to be doing that in front of the camera with you guys so we're going to open it up together and it is this a black you see guys it says james charles it's so pretty honestly james charles i love the packaging i have to rate it like a freaking 10 out of 10 like i i honestly think he did an amazing job with his um uh, his packaging once once you open it you see all kinds of varieties of colors i did swatch some of them so you're gonna see some of them are already swatched but it also came with this little label tag but i put that on the side and you guys amazing palette it has like all the colors that you need right off of, right off of the bat i recommend this to anyone that's barely starting makeup it's such an amazing palette so not only did i pick up the james charles palette so i did go to ulta for these products i also went ahead and picked up this morphe highlighter it is in the shade merge and i've heard so many good things about this highlight let me show you guys how it looks really fast you guys see that how beautiful it is but let me show you guys how it looks swatched so look you guys do you guys see that that's so pretty like that's so pigmented so i'm excited to try both of these if you want to see how i'm gonna go ahead and create a look with the james charles palette and using the morphing highlight then please keep on watching so as you can tell i already did my eyebrows and i went ahead and prepped my skin um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start off by priming my eyelids I want to go ahead and do something a little bit dark on the eyelid just like colorful so something blue We're not really gonna use the neutral colors just cuz I have many tutorials on that I want to go ahead and give it a fair review I'm gonna see how they are if I don't like it I will be specific on what I don't like what could be improved I love the packaging and I'm excited to try out these um, shadows So um, I'm gonna go ahead and start off this look using code James which is this orange color right here it's super duper pretty i think that it has like an a brown undertone and i'm gonna go ahead and pick up that color in this morphe m433 and we're gonna use it as our transition color these colors blend out perfect i think that they blend out so great they have like such a soft blending with the brush i'm not even doing i'm doing movements but lightly i don't have to go harsh into the color it's really really pigmented so i love that about this palette now taking 518 from the palette it is an orange straight up orange color i'm gonna go ahead and pick that up on my morphe m573 and use it as my crease color kind of um do it on the crease and blend it upwards and we're trying to get a really deep orange I do have to say one negative thing about this palette and that is the fallout i think that originally a palette does have fallout any palette has fallout but you shouldn't have as much fallout because you're paying an expensive amount it wasn't that expensive it was 39 dollars and you know that's like really worth it but um and especially for the cut uh especially for the pigment that you receive i just feel like if it had a little bit less powdery effect maybe it would be better but these pigments are really buttery they're soft i love how they look on the skin so. i am going to start working on my eyelid because i'm just going to jump right into it to do so i am going to cut the crease i'm going to go ahead and pick up this morphe m432 and when i cut my crease i usually like to use this h rewind it is by maybelline and you know just start cutting um my eyelid 
to get a really nice effect of the blue tone that I'm going to use. I really like the blues that they have. They have a variety of colors from purples, pinks, greens, yellows, orange, browns. Like they have every color that you need. So I really do love this palette. So I'm going to go ahead and take this Seti Colors Cosmetics brush. It is in the CC EO2 brush, more of a flat brush. We're going to go ahead and take the blue shade from the palette. It is in the shade Brother, right there. We're going to go ahead and place that all over our eyelid. I'm going ahead and taking my flat brush from e.l.f. and picking up this color right here called Acapella. It is a shimmer color of the brown and we're going to place that again all over our eyelid. But to do so, I'm going to go ahead and spray some Mario Badesco spray just so I can get more of a shade into it and just place it all over. Now I'm taking this uh, brush, I did get it from the Morphe Wet Collection, and I'm going to go ahead and blend the two colors that I started with, which was Code James and the orange color. We're going to blend the crease just to get everything blended out, we don't have any harsh lines. And this is going to take a couple of minutes just because you do want a right amount of blend, so just keep blending and blending till you feel like it's really satisfied. I'm taking a Neutrogena wipe and just wiping all of the excess off. Just to not make it look as wild as it is. So after about 20 minutes of blending, I got a really good blend. I feel like I can blend out the edges a bit more. Just making them look less dramatic. But other than that, it just turned out really pretty. Like I feel like with lashes, you guys are going to see like the real result. So I'm going to go ahead and pop on my eyelashes and I'll be right back. I am wearing the uh, Demi Westbys by Ardell. I really am in love with these. I just bought them I believe two days ago. And I'm just super duper excited to see how this uh, look will turn out throughout the day. Which I will keep you guys updated. This palette was super duper amazing, so affordable, and not other than that, it's just so pigmented, so pretty, has all the colors you need, you guys. So if you guys can definitely go ahead and pick this up for yourself, definitely do so. I'm now going ahead and doing the rest of my face, and I feel like you guys already know my routine with it, which is the Too Faced and the Becca um, routine of my foundation. I don't have a new uh, foundation routine, although I do have a new blush routine which you guys can definitely stay tuned for that i will stop at that point other than that i will just be going um fast mode throughout my foundation and concealer and we will stop at blush For blush, I did recently get put on this one. It was purchased in Mexico. So it's a Bisu blush in the shade 07 Terracota. My cousin Angelica gave it to me. You guys, I'm obsessed with it. Literally, it's about a dollar and I'm so obsessed with it. It's so cheap. It's such great quality. It's amazing. So I'm going to put it on my E4 brush and watch how pigmented it is. So I like to put a lot and then what I like to do is go back with a brush and just blend everything together and you guys this blush is so amazing. It's so light on the skin um, and what I mean by that is it's not like heavy at all. You obviously don't feel it like there's some blushes that are just too much and this one you can just like with one like a small amount you have enough. For highlight, I'm going to go in with my Morphe uh, highlight that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to go ahead and spray some Mario Badesco 
and we're just gonna go ahead and go right into it so I'm so excited to see how nice yeah yeah you guys this is amazing like wow I never wear highlight on my cheeks just because I feel like it makes it look um yeah and it's so intense too I'm gonna go ahead and grab the same flat brush that I did use for um, my eyelid. I'm just gonna go ahead and pack the blue shade on my under eye. So we're gonna make it, it's gonna be like a popped look, so. So I absolutely do love this palette. Like I have to say it's amazing. It's so pigmented. There's so many colors on there. And apart from that, like it's just so good. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab this cover girl. Um, it is the Lash Blast Volume Mascara. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that to my bottom and upper lashes. So then I went ahead and just applied this nude lipstick that I have. The one that I always use is the Velvet Lippy Butter Matte Lip Cream. It's in the shade Terracotta. I love Terracotta. I'm sounding like I'm not Mexican, which I am. But I absolutely love this nude. It goes with any single look. I really do love it. If you guys ask me for the end of the review, I would say that you guys definitely need to go and get the James Charles palette. I absolutely love it so much. It is so pretty. You can make so many looks with it. And this highlight, guys, amazing. Like, I can use this for an eyeshadow uh, lid shimmer. And it can be so pretty. If you guys did enjoy this uh, James Charles X Morphe palette review, then please make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Also, don't forget to go ahead and enter my giveaway. It is all on my Instagram. I will have it listed down below. Other than that, thank you so much for all the love and support you guys give me. And I will see you guys on my next video.